All right, it's that time of year again. I've got Grayson shin guards and socks, and we are starting another year of soccer. Not just Grayson soccer, but Porter also has soccer too. This is, as you can see on the board, year four of soccer for Grayson, and for Porter, this is year two of soccer. So the boys are very excited. Grayson has already had two soccer practices because he's in the older leagues. Porter just has um, meetups once a week because he's still in the little kid leagues starting next year. If Porter wants to do it again, he will have practices during the week and then games on the weekend. So yes, we have soccer today. It's starting to feel like fall, except kind of, but not really. Like it's been cold this past week, but it's gonna get into like the upper 90s. <laughs> this next week so it's kind of fall but kind of not and also college football starts today so fall keeps like shoving at us and like starbucks came out with their fall drinks but it's gonna be like 90 today so kind of fall but kind of not anyway i'm kind of sad because both the boys have games at the same time kind of not really porter's is at 10 30 he has like 45 minute practices so it's like 10 30 to 11 15 grayson has a soccer game from 11 to 12. i've never missed a first game of the season i've always lucked out and the boys have had a met well i've only done one year so far of them having um games at different times but this year unfortunately it did not work out porter's games start so late and Grayson's are all over the place. So unfortunately, Anthony and I are gonna have to split up. Sounds like I'm gonna take Avery and we're gonna go cheer on Porter and Anthony is gonna take Grayson and go cheer him on and then we'll all meet up at the end. So I asked Anthony to take some videos of Grayson doing his soccer. So hopefully he remembers and hopefully he holds the phone sideways, but I can only pr promise so much, but we are gonna do some pictures this morning. Exciting for Gray because he's in the next level up, just like the next age group. The goalposts are bigger and they now have goalies. So up until now, the nets have just been open and kids can just score. And now they're starting to incorporate goalies. Every year, something changes. The fields get bigger. The goalposts get bigger. They add new things. Eventually, they'll start like enforcing onside rules and they'll have referees and different things like that. So slowly, they start enforcing more rules of the game. Porter, he's still in the little kid soccer. So um, he does like 15 minutes of practice and then they do 30 minutes of versing another team which he's never done that before he's always just like scrimmaged his own team little changes here and there but the boys are super excited for soccer porter is wearing an orange jersey this year and th and this year grayson is in neon yellow so it's like boom right in your face bam so anyway super exciting i plan to vlog a little bit of the soccer games but other than that we really don't have anything going on this weekend it's just supposed to be super hot i'm sure we'll put on some football because why not although there's not very many games cincinnati doesn't play until next weekend so and i don't know that we're going to be that good this year the only other thing we have is we have to mow and i think anthony really wants to go to costco i don't think he's ever gone before so maybe we'll venture out there i don't know but yeah i need to go get the boys dressed and then take their pictures avery's been like taking a morning nap but then the past two days she's refused her morning nap i actually got her down for a morning nap this morning so it's just like she's getting to that phase where she's kind of done with the morning nap which is like kind of sad but kind of good it's kind of sad because i like this like hour in the morning where i can put her down and then like get dressed and eat and have my coffee and like have a little bit of peace but then it's kind of good that she is dropping the nap because she's going to start going to this school two days a week in October, starting in October and that's in the morning. So she won't be able to take her nap there. So yeah, we're just kind of like every day, we're not sure is she gonna take a nap, is she not? But today she is, so I'll have to make sure I get her up in time to go to Porter's soccer game where we're gonna go and cheer him on. That's what's going on. I haven't really vlogged that much because today, this week was just super boring. Next week is gonna be super busy, but this week we really didn't have much going on. Yeah, I will show you guys the kids doing their soccer skills and hopefully both boys win their games. I don't really think they keep score. The kids keep score, but I don't think like 
the coaches really do at this point. But hopefully both boys are happy with the outcome of their games today. <laughs> We're done with soccer and we made it to the park and there's this big hill. Oh, she's smiling at that one. And they're sliding down the hill. It is hot, hot, hot outside. 87 and hot. <laughs> Avery's going to try to climb the hill. <laughs> I see it. <laughs> hey everyone, I am editing this vlog and realized I never really talked about how soccer went for both the boys. So like I said, Anthony and I both had to split up. Me and Avery took Porter to his game and Anthony took Grayson to his game because they were at the same time. And both boys did awesome. Porter has a new coach this year. We got put on a new team and he seems really, really nice. Funny enough, like his wife knows my sister Allison. They like went to school together. Small world, but he seems super nice. It's a good group of kids. Um, they did 30 minutes of practice and then the last 15 minutes or so, they played the team on the field right next to them. Porter's so funny. He does amazing during practice, like the drills and stuff. Like he kicks the ball great and scores and does awesome. But then when we get to the actual like scrimmage, it's like he doesn't understand what he's supposed to do and then like doesn't score and is just like in the background. But it's okay. He's just three. Like he doesn't know what he's doing. I asked Anthony how Grayson's game was and he said it was good. He said um, they have goalies now, like I said before, but also they have refs this year so the coaches actually like have to stay on the sideline they're not out in the fields which I didn't know that happened this year so that was crazy um, but he said Grayson's team did really well we have a couple kids on Grayson's team not Grayson that are really really good at the sport and so they basically like carry the team but Grayson doesn't care he just wants to win so the other team did score a couple times but then Grayson's team ultimately did win so that was great our biggest goal with Grayson is to try to get him not to cry during soccer he's just like at a really emotional time right now I don't know what it is but like if anything ever goes wrong or he gets things wrong he just like gets so upset about it and so we're trying to help him like learn how to manage his emotions and sometimes that's hard for him to do so we're working on it he cried a couple times during soccer but we're hoping it'll get better as the season goes on um, but anyway, yeah, it went great. The weather was really nice. It was hot. Um, and then you guys saw we went to the park afterwards. There's like so many parks that are super close to our house, but this one we don't go to very often and has like fake grass. It has like artificial turf which is really kind of fun and different to do. So the kids were loving sliding down the hills as you saw. And yeah, we just went on a family walk and that was our day. So great start to the soccer season. We'll do a couple weeks in the fall. It breaks during the winter and then we do a couple weeks in the spring. So it's a nice like do it for a couple weeks and then break and then do it a couple weeks and then it's over and then you sign up for the next year. So. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Do you have your kids in any sports? I'm not sure how long my kids will do soccer. Maybe other sports are in their future or something entirely different like playing an instrument or dancing or gymnastics. There's so many different options, but for now soccer is cheap and it's right down the street from us, so it's convenient. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.